What's up guys this is Karan here back with another video welcome back to Tech Karan YouTube channel so we have installed project Sakura custom room based on android version 10 on my device I have a Xiaomi Redmi Note 8 the room is available for Redmi Note 7, Redmi Note 7s, Redmi Note 5 Pro, Redmi Note 8 all of the supported devices the link for all of the devices is in the description you can download the room for your device from the link and i'll show you all the features which are available in project sakura highlights of this custom room and everything in this video make sure to watch this video till the end let's get started right now Okay, so first of all, we will take a look at the launcher and the default launcher which you get here is the launcher pre-installed where you get a lot of settings here. Launcher is actually the customized option, customized alternative of a pixel launcher which has all the pixel goodies including some all the features. There are features of gestures, search, app drawer, theme, desktop and a lot more. If you don't know about what is a launcher, you can search on Google and you'll find a lot of, lot of the things about this launcher. Moving on to some other things, we have the default camera in Redmi Note 8 Pro. You get the ANX camera pre-installed with almost all the things perfectly fine. And this one is actually based on MIUI 12. Talking about the Redmi Note 5 Pro, you also get the ANX camera pre-installed in Redmi Note 5 Pro but based on MIUI 11. Almost everything is same in Redmi Note 7 and Redmi Note 7 S also. And this one is already I am showing you Redmi Note 8. Talking about it's based on AOSP so all the icons are like um, very very dirty for me. You can choose the custom icon pack. You can just search on the Google Play Store for the icon packs. Let me just show you. You can search for the any icon pack and you can find that icon pack easily and you can install any icon pack from here pixel pie viral nexa icons whichever suits you you can choose that one and that will feel your device pretty much good pretty much looking nice and interesting till now as you can see icons are a little bit of ugly for me talking about some other things we have audio fx pre-installed so actually this is based on lineage os so you get all the features of lineage os already pre-installed including some other features of project sakura i'll show you all the features also in audio fx you can customize your base and visualizer you can just have to turn on this option from here and everything is done it's very cool audio equalizer till now if you are talking about the default equalizer Moving on to some other things, you have all the AOSP based apps like Lineage OS, it's based on Lineage OS, so you got all the apps from Lineage OS. If you're using the Redmi Note 8, I have the Geekbench score comparison. If you talk about the Geekbench score, the Geekbench score is pretty much impressive. 312 is the single core score, 1324 is the multi core score, which is quite impressive uh, comparing to the average score. Average is 307 but this time we got 312 which is quite impressive and talking about the multi-core 1300 is the average one and we got 1324 that's pretty much interesting go for it and try it out you will get a very good Geekbench score you will get good performance good battery backup also you have a lot of options of changing kernel so that it will increase your battery backup and a lot more things like that. Moving on to settings, we have a lot of features. Almost everything is based on Lineage OS, so no extra features are available in that section like network and internet connected devices. Here you get the Sakura configs. I'll take a look at this later on. So let's take a look at the battery options. Here you get the battery cycles, no options of battery cycles options. You only get the last full charge option and screen usage since full charge. In display option you get the dark theme, you get the live display, you get the adaptive brightness and in styles and wallpapers. You don't get any extra style but here when you talk about the clock option you get a lot of clocks options are available here. There are a lot like you get the minimals, minimal, MNMLs, box and these kind of things. This is I have already applied and you can change to this one you can change to this one there are a lot of things are available a lot of clock styles are available which is kind of very interesting thing go for it and try it out it looks pretty much impressive 
talking about some other things let's go back and here you have the screen timeout option you got the font size you got the display size and almost every feature is just same sound storage privacy security you don't get any face lock option available for some devices the face lock option could be available but for my device in redmi note 8 it's not available so you only get the fingerprint and screen lock pattern option no face lock included all the features are same here when you go to system you get the status bar option which you already got in lineage os based rooms system icons clock position battery options and some brightness customization options here and gestures has a very cool interesting feature when you go to gesture navigation you get the full screen gesture options which is quite interesting and i personally prefer to use this gesture in android 10 based custom rooms okay so these are all the things so moving on to some little bit of customization options which you get in project sakura custom room you get about project option interface option where you get the option of choosing the themes in sakura themes you get some little bit of themes option light google gray solarized dark baked green choco x material ocean and mizu with sikra some battery bar and rounded corners options are included here too. Animations, activity open, move to front, task open, wallpaper and little bit of other customization animations options available here. In quick settings, you have the option of blur behind the quick settings, OOS style clear all button which is oxygen OS style clear all button. You also got the custom header image option available if you want to enable it, you can enable it that one too. In lock screen and you only get the music visual user option a useful feature actually but only single feature option available here in gesture you got the three finger gesture options In notifications you have some little bit of extra options like edge lighting force expanded notification charging animation and notification headers like android version are these are the things and at last some miscellaneous only signature spoofing screenshot sound data usage and a lot more these kind of things at last you got the sakura ota but actually this one is not working for redmi note 8 you just get the force stop option so these are all the things you get here installation is very simple I'll provide the link for all other devices also which are included in this video so this was all from today's video i hope you like it don't forget to like share and subscribe goodbye have a nice day